Tyler ISD is requiring teachers to call students by pronouns that match their assigned sex on their birth certificates. It was one of nearly a dozen policy changes adopted by the district at yesterday's school board meeting. Uh, Bo Evans joins us live from Keller this morning. Uh, Bo, the story, as we understand it, is drawing some concern and criticism from not only students, but also the ACLU. Yeah, that's exactly right, Madison. Several students spoke out against the policies, and the ACLU of Texas wrote a letter urging the school board not to pass them. Four of the policies, which the board did pass unanimously, center around students assigned sex at birth. In addition to requiring students only be referred to by the assigned name on their birth certificates, students would be divided for gender-specific activities and for overnight trips, they would be required to room with other students with the same assigned gender. Another policy would require parental permission for students to join a club or student group like a gay straight alliance. Now students from across the district attended the meeting and they spoke out against the policies. I and many other queer students that you're supposed to protect are suffering because of your decisions. Queer kids can't even have a safe, comfortable environment without their parents knowing. I know so many friends and peers that have very homophobic, abusive parents that would never let them join a safe community like a GCA and would keep their kids from joining a community that they would feel safe in. You are keeping kids with hateful parents from joining a safe space that should be their home, but in reality, it sadly isn't. Now, the ACLU says this violates students' right to equal treatment under the law and puts an already vulnerable group of students in harm's way. In Keller, Bo Evans, CBS News, Texas.